We are going to be raiding every single female character from Has Been Hotel. Disclaimer! We are only going to be including characters that have screen time and interactions. Not to mention the fact that they have to be, well, legal. And please remember that this is our subjective and personal opinion. If you disagree or have a different rating, leave it in the comment section below. Also, Vox told me to tell you guys to subscribe. Anyway, let's start with number... Are you kidding me? Sir, I would like to inform you that Vox and Alistair chose these characters. I'm including personality in the rating as well, by the way. So, you're extremely loyal, you're very obedient, and a very strong soldier to work with. You might be one of the best, actually. Not to mention your strong character. Thank you, sir. Coming from you, these are huge compliments, and I greatly appreciate the rating- Six out of ten. What? But what about all the traits that you just named? Doesn't that amount to at least an eight- Bitch, you lost a limb at the end of season one. I don't care how hot or how strong. You're a solid six from now on. Fuck you! No, thank you. Next! Next up on our list is the- Are you fucking kidding me? No, but you kind of deserve it. She's literally my boss. Well, then let's hope she doesn't see the video. All right, so she's in good physical shape. I agree, sir. She's a very nice person as well, and I would give her a high rating, but... Just say it already. She is a psychopathic crazy bitch. She lied to her own people and hired us to do the killing just so she wouldn't get her hand dirty, so she's a four. Well said, sir. I'm sorry, okay? I know she's trying to protect her people, and she doesn't have bad intentions, but she's just too much for me. I agree. Just let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comments. I just really want to know. Sir, the next person is Camilla Carmine. Who the fuck is Camilla Carmine? Holy shit. I'm guessing she left a good first impression. I guess you can say that. Yeah, who is she? She is the top weapons dealer in hell. She has two daughters, and during the extermination killed one of our soldiers while protecting her daughters. Forgiven, she's a 10. Are you fucking serious, Adam? Bitch, she was protecting her daughters, and she makes weapons. She's a solid 10 out of 10. Why a 10? You wouldn't fuck that. We should change the score to an 11. Agreed. Next up on the list is Susan. And she's, what the fuck is that? Oh yeah, she's a cannibal. How old is she? Age doesn't matter, loot. I'm sure she's a sweet and a very kind woman. Yeah, that's the thing though. She's not. Oh, well, uh, a solid four? Can we do maybe a two? How about we meet in the middle? Three out of 10. Deal. So who's next? It's actually the so-called queen of cannibals, Rosie. Looks like this lady aged like fine wine. More like milk. You know what? I'm gonna give her a solid seven. But sir, that puts her above me. Can you just stop with the hating? I mean, she's a good looking lady. Fine. I just wanted to tell you that she reportedly tried eating her husband. Never mind. You're a solid five. Right where she belongs. What the fuck is up with you today? Would you feel good if I put Vox as an eight and you as a six? Fuck no, I'd be pissed. Then shut the fuck up and rate Cherry Bomb. Oh wow, I like her style. She gives off bad bitch vibes and I'm into it. Sadly, the records don't show a primary residential area. Vox just quoted, she belongs to the streets. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. The records also have multiple cases of heavy drug use. Oh shit. Oh shit indeed, sir. The records show that the drug use is daily. Not to mention the fact that she does not intend to be in a monogamous relationship. The fuck is monogamous? To put it in simple terms, this bitch ain't loyal. Here's the thing. Those traits are deal breakers for me. That doesn't mean that someone else might not find them attractive. Agreed. However, we are rating based on our opinion. The personality really lower the rating for me, so I'd give her a 4 out of 10. I think you're gonna like this one. Get that thing away from me! Alistair said that Nifty doesn't possess a fully independent conscious and mainly lives to clean, kill, and serve. Yeah, no shit! I learned that already! Just get her out of here! But sir, without a rating- One. One. The rating is one. Get that picture away from me! Okay, calm down. Try getting stabbed 20 times! Bitch, I ripped my own arm apart trying to protect you. Shit, I forgot about that. Anyway, next one on the list is Miss Katie Killjoy, Hell's number one news reporter. A registered psychopath, sociopath, murderer, and is charged with multiple cases of harassment against her co-worker. Jesus fucking Christ! Is there anyone here that's at least a little wholesome? To my knowledge, the last two characters are considered the most quote-unquote wholesome. I mean, the name Killjoy alone is enough for me to give her a five. I would agree, sir. How many do we have left? Not including the next character, only three remain. Awesome. Bring up the next one. Sir, this is Mimsy. She is- Wait a minute! I know her! You do? She tried to get into heaven. Excuse me? Yeah. 
This bitch tried to bribe multiple people in heaven in hopes that one of them will accept and let her in. Why is she even in the list? Apparently, she's Alistair's friend. But for some reason, the word friend is in quote. I don't care. That bitch is trouble. So what's your final rating? I want to say one, but she's not as bad as Nifty, so I'll give her a two. Understood. You better be saving the best for last. It would appear so. The third to last is Miss Velvet. Oh yeah, she's Vox's friend. And his business partner as well. She has a quote-unquote bitchy attitude, very confident, and the creator of all social media and mobile phones. So she made all the dating apps and social medias I use. That's a plus. She's also the owner of multiple fashion companies and is one of the strongest overlords in hell. So she's a bad bitch with brains and money. That's a solid eight. I would probably go for an eight as well. She's too short for a 10. And Camilla looks way better. That leaves us with the final two characters, Charlie and Vaggie. Let's just get this over with. I'm hungry. I could go for a snack as well. I want to start with Vaji. You mean Vaggie? Shut up, I'm thinking. Well, hurry up, I'm hungry. Okay, so she's a good soldier, the best one I've ever had, very determined, and she has a good heart. Don't forget, sir. She betrayed us, didn't follow your order, and helped the Hellspawn kill some of our greatest soldiers. Not to mention the fact that she has a missing eye. True, but she did beat your ass in a 1v1. Excuse me? And she didn't actually kill you. She showed mercy just to piss you off, and that's a bad bitch move. Seven out of 10. I fucking hate you sometimes. Speaking of hate, let's talk about Charlie. Don't get me wrong, she's a nice girl, super sweet and very kind. She's super protective over her friends and I can respect that. In all honesty, the kindness and sweetness is getting annoying. Exactly. She's just too kind, too nice, and too basic for me to give her anything above a six. No offense to anyone. I, I just feel like she lacks character. I also think that a six would be a sufficient rating. And speaking of rating, I believe that we're done. You wanna go get some ribs? Fuck yes. Let's go. Adam, wait. What? We have to finish the video. Vox told us, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Thanks for reminding me. Thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions on what should we react to next, tell us in the comments below. Can we go now? I believe so, sir. Bye guys!